Much is said about how advanced ancient Egyptians must have been to build pyramids, and of course their mastery over stone is spectacular, and nothing I say will take away from their achievements. However, contrary to popular belief, using the pyramid shape itself as a building design is not a sign of advanced construction. Let me show you what I mean. Many civilizations from China to Egypt to Mesoamerica reached a point where they needed a taller building. The problem with building straight up is that the walls of the lower floor must support those of the higher floors. Stone can be used to go tall, as we see from Roman construction or medieval cathedrals, but those were made possible due to Roman use of the arch and medieval use of the flying buttress. Both technologies were needed to distribute weight downwards toward the foundation and to open up an otherwise closed-off architectural model. However, Central America and Egypt opted to go higher by simply stacking consecutive smaller squares on top of each other up to a point at the top. Egypt refined the process a bit more by adding casing stones, but that was an aesthetic and not structural choice. The common use of pyramids in different ancient cultures does not point to some lost common advanced pyramid-loving civilization, but rather to similar technical levels confronting the same problem of how do we build higher. A pyramid is actually a terrible shape for a building you want to put rooms inside of. A fully hollow pyramid would have interior walls that all slant inwards on at least one side, creating inefficient, oddly shaped rooms. If these ancient cultures had building technology that was wildly advanced relative to today, we would need to see at least medieval levels of advanced structural engineering. But to their credit, the building of a massive stone pyramid at that time, where surrounding cultures were living in small huts, was the mega skyscraper achievement of its time. They were wildly advanced when compared to all the other civilizations that surrounded them, but the idea that pyramids were the pinnacle of architectural engineering that can't be surpassed is simply not true. If any ancient pyramid builder was taken up to the Burj Khalif in a glass elevator whizzing past miles of structural steel and elegantly curved glass, they would also readily agree with that statement. The pyramids' crowning achievements are that they are extremely durable. They probably will last longer than the Burj Khalif. They are strong and brilliantly designed to last insanely long amounts of time. But we must differentiate between durability and technically advanced as compared to today. They are not the same thing. Pyramid building was a necessary stage in structural engineering that we owe the Egyptians for teaching us. The lessons learned at Giza were built upon by the Romans, the Greeks, and the Persians. The Europeans learned from those cultures and took it even farther. You see, there is no need to build a pyramid today since the lessons learned from it are deeply wrapped in thousands of years of learned architectural history. Because the pyramids were so advanced when compared to surrounding structures, I find it to be the most useful route to understanding the technologies that sprung from it. We should study the pyramids today, not because they represent impossible to build structures, but because there are still links between its construction and engineering history that have been so deeply learned by the modern world we sometimes forget where they originated from. One direct example of this would be the link between modern 3D printing and pyramid construction. Both required a reorientation of how we normally build things. The process of 3D printing a structure from bottom to top, with all the intricate internal features being created one layer at a time, is analogous with pyramid building. If you forget to build a feature at the bottom, you can't just go back and do it once you get to the top. You must design and anticipate what must happen in each layer in order to make it all work. I do not know if the modern developers of 3D printing considered that they were implementing lessons learned in the old kingdom of Egypt, but they still were. This is why we should study the pyramids. The siren song calling for us to consider the pyramids an unknowable, impossible structure destined to be the only result of a highly technical lost civilization that went around the world spreading the secrets of building pyramids is a trap that cuts off the reasoning process. When anyone tells you to stop thinking because you, quote, just can't know, you weren't there, that is exactly how you know something has become a sacred cow. The pyramids do have secrets, but they can be known, and fear of losing a beloved mystery should never stop us from investigating exactly how they were built. Never fear, there will always be some secret to the pyramids.